All right, Pedro, my boy, here we are. We're going to the Oregon State game. Only three more games left in this USC season. We just talked to Lane Kiffin. He said he's very concerned about this Oregon State game as being a trap game, coming off two good victories, including winning on the road against a top 20 team at Arizona. Oregon State is down, having just lost to Washington State, who is truly awful. Do you see that as that some concern? Do you think that this could be a little bit of a trap game? I, don't, I mean, I thought it was a great question from you. I thought he had a great answer to it, but I don't think it's really a trap game. I mean, to be a trap game doesn't have to be a, a game they're going to overlook. And I don't think you can overlook a team that has beaten you the last two times you played in their stadium. I mean, that just kind of just doesn't work along with the definition of a trap game to me. Yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah, USC could definitely lose this game, but I don't think it'll qualify as a trap game. Couldn't agree more. I think it's, it's coach speak. I think he probably is concerned about it because it, it is sort of the possible thing that would trip them up this week, but I think there's a really good possibility that Oregon State just isn't that good. Um, to lose to a team like Washington State at home, I mean, doesn't speak well. The quarterback is struggling. Um, they've had some defensive breakdowns. So uh, a couple weeks ago we talked about this. There's a real possibility of this team going 10-3. and three. What kind of a season would that be for a team that is, you know, trying to rebuild towards something when they can actually play in bowl games? I mean, I think anytime you improve upon the season before, I think it's it's an improvement, right? I mean, it's a good season. You, how can you not say something's a good season when it's better than the year they did before? Especially with all the things they've had to face this year, you know, injuries and you know the whole sanctions dropping in June and all that. I mean, Matt Barkley said it was a phenomenal season. We predicted, you know, nine and four, ten and three. I think you probably said at some point that a ten and three would be a pretty pretty good season for these guys. And it looks like, I mean, I'd say there's a 50, 60 percent chance that happens. So. You got to feel pretty good right now if you're in USC. Yeah, it's better than I thought they would do. I thought they'd be about like last year. Um, I thought there'd be maybe one more upset in there, which there could still be. I mean, it, I don't think that that UCLA game is, is a lock, especially playing on the road. There's crazy things happen in those kind of rivalry games. <clears throat> so um, it's kind of, you know, they still have to kind of have this final push. You think the fact that they don't have a bowl game is going to allow them to motivate themselves more for these final three, or is that something of a concern just going forward, not not playing toward that? It's got to be something of a concern for Kiffin and if you're, you know, if you're a leader on this team. They, they could definitely have peaked last week against Arizona. There's definitely that thought that, hey, they peaked, especially with how they've been practicing so far these last couple days. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, both days, not good days for the team. Not much effort, not much energy. Stanley Havili said it, Chris O'Dowd said it, Lee Kiffin said it. Everyone's saying it. They're just not putting in 100% effort, and that doesn't put well. I mean, I think, yeah, they definitely have the possibility of having peaked and being on the decline, so we'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll find out.